Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hey, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Rick and Morty season 3 episode 4. Today I watch the three first episodes of this season 3. If you want to see my episodes, no. My videos about this episode, I'm gonna put the links right there. No, I'm not gonna cut that. I'm not gonna redo that intro like uh, that. Is. And also because I don't have the time, I think for that, maybe I'm gonna be forced to end this video for the review or something like that to turn my light on. You know the yellow light, which is gonna really look bad, and I'm sorry for that in advance. But you know. Even if it's so out outside and inside of my apartment, we are at 28 degrees Celsius, again, uh, just right there for Fahrenheit. It's October, you know, it's the end of October, it's autumn, we shouldn't be like that. And because of that, the sun is gonna go down really quick. So uh, clearly I'm disturbed by it. I didn't organize my day really well because I'm disturbed, you know, by this weather and stuff like that. My brain is not functioning like it should. So that's why I'm filming right now. I'm not gonna redo my intro or anything. Let's go for the scene, you know? Guys, clearly we didn't begin this season 3 with the best episode. I mean, it was a really good episode, but into the best conditions for the characters, for the story, something like that. I said it, we resolved the situation with Earth. That's already really great. But for the characters, the two first episodes were difficult. Difficult to watch, difficult to, 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 to appreciate, like to, to be fun, you know, to, to be entertained by these two episodes. Even if we had a lot of funny moments and funny lines and stuff like that. But it was rough for me, who is really an emotional person and you know it I think now if you're watching my other reaction videos the fact that I'm really emotional I can cry really easily when I'm sad I'm really sad like I can be really really sad inside of myself I'm devastated you know like you you can see just some tears me inside uh, I'm an emotional person like uh, the, really the definition of it I live my emotions fully entirely like I'm letting you see in these reaction videos a lot of that and it's a good thing you know also for me it's a good way to express my emotions in a way that it's acceptable and all more than into my personal life but really I'm an emotional person and I'm also really in empathy with people in general I can feel their pain, but I'm taking also their pain for myself. And when I'm saying I'm taking, it's really like I'm taking them on my shoulders. I'm leaving these people right there, leaving their stuff. But me, I'm thinking about it during entire days and I'm making nightmares about them. I'm not even involved into these nightmares. I'm just living about them being, you know, into worst and worst situations. Like, <laughs> see also how I'm talking about it. I'm someone really emotional and who is in empathy really quick with people and with their emotions and with what they're living. So right now during the two first episodes, even if these episodes were funny, for me they were not. For me, they were not at all. <laughs> like I just saw the fact that these characters were getting worse, you know, into worse condition, into worse mental situations like else uh, it hurts me so that's why <laughs> the last episode the episode three i think was better was funnier and was lighter also for me because we had all of this situation with rick who transformed himself into a pickle and used rats and insects to move to be able to fight Russian guys into a place he escaped from it with an explosion and with a jaguar guy. Again, it's a Camulox situation. I explained to you what is Camulox during the review of the last episode. 
an old TV show, comedy show, a little like Saturday Night Live. I don't know how to, to describe it, but it's an old one. One of these moments, you know, of this TV show, this old TV show, it was Camulox, a fake game. And you could win into the, this game by saying the weirdest things possible to invent sentences and lines which are making no sense at all, but you could win doing that. And now it's an expression into France when you have someone saying something really weird with words we shouldn't be together, you know, into the same sentence. Like it's really weird if you're taking that sentence out of context. When this person is saying that weird stuff, you can say Camulox and everyone is gonna understand that it's a reference to that TV show, to that comedy scene. And everyone is gonna understand the absurdity of the line, of the situation, and all of that. That's a joke. Rick, really, it was a Camulox story that he lived during the last episode. It was funny, but still it was a Camulox one. I preferred all of the, the best story. That therapy session was three for best at the end. And even if the characters, they chose to act like nothing happened, still it happened. Rick said the truth, Beth heard the truth. They decided to do nothing with it, at least right now, at least the characters. But we know this show, we know that it can have consequences for the future episodes. We know that these characters still, they heard it and that's great. And I said it, it's okay. You know, if we don't have any news about Jerry, because for now he's all alone, he's sad, he's unemployed, he's uh, into this place and all. I don't want to have him back if it's just to mock him and to, to play bad with him, because these characters, for now, they are not ready to respect him and to consider him and stuff like that. So I want these characters to get better in a better place. And after that, Jerry can come back and be more considered and respected. Yes, what he did with Rick was bad, asking that, but I'm not gonna come back to that. And I'm not gonna come back to the fact that someone who is nice, who was always nice, but who was always not respected by anyone that he loves, who was mistreated in a way by everyone that he loves, Suddenly he thinks about himself and also about his loved ones because he wants them to be into a good place and he doesn't want for them to stay into a toxic relationship with a toxic person who is doing nothing but to hurt them so much that they have to escape to another planet and they are condemned to live into it. It's bad to offer something like that. You don't do that when you're a part of this family. But uh, the reasons behind, I can understand. <laughs> okay, I need to stop this intro. I think that you can see really that the sun is going down. I need to stop this intro. Let's go for this episode 4. Remember that if you want to have my Patreon, to have 4 episodes, 5 episodes of advance, 2 weeks of advance, no matter what. We've extended our 4 action parts. 4 action parts, I put some, you know, for Rick and Morty. More than I thought, but I put some for big episodes and stuff like that. And extended reaction parts, that are already interesting because I'm fighting right now into the, my present time with YouTube for uploading my videos about Rick and Morty and I'm forced to cut so much into the videos that I prepared for YouTube at first, you know, to respect the fair use rules. It's not working anymore. Maybe I'm gonna be forced to cut even more or to play with opacity and stuff like that. I'm sorry if it's the case, but really, uh, I'm fighting my best, you know, and normally I shouldn't fight because before that it was enough for for the owners of Rick and Morty to respect the fair use rules and they were playing fair with me, so I don't know, but you have my Patreon if you want really everything that you should have. <laughs> and also to support me. I'm a little reactor and I'm also a little reactor on Patreon, so if you want to support me, it's on Patreon. Let's go for this episode. Oh. Something funny, something great. I have hope. I begin this episode with hope. It's great, no? Please don't kill it. Well, we call for the 
refuse to answer a literal call to adventure, Morty. Let it go to Morty. Really? Right. The Vindicators only call when the universe itself is at stake. They're the guardians of the unguarded. They're the writers of their own press uh? releases, Morty. They're a bunch of drama queens that spend an hour talking and 20 minutes jumping around while shit blows up. I, Morty Smith, invoke my right to choose one in every ten Rick and Morty God. adventures. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. I am Crocky Bot. <laughs> right, Crocky Bot. So, you're half cold, unfeeling reptile, half also cold. You behind? So, your origin is what? You, you, you fell into a vat of The parasite? God damn! You knew we're having a briefing. Dance Maximus, Renegade Star Soldier! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It was happy hour. That's uh, really an Avengers. What do you say, Vindicators? Let's make this three for three. Uh -huh. Did he say three for three? Did he you are not invited to one? Right, Max? Actually, we assembled a second time last summer to fight Doom Namatron. And you guys did Vindicators 2 without us? Seems so. I think the personality conflict might have been you? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, they wanted to not need me so bad they murdered three innocent heroes of color and they still had to bring me back? It's embarrassing to find out these guys don't like us. Why? Morty, I uh, defeat Gagu is more powerful than these guys every week. Yeah, but not heroes. I'm calling them that, Rick. They're my heroes. Mine. Oh, you're gonna be disadvantaged at some point by them. Uh, I'm gonna go get a drink. Drinking when you're in front of an issue? What a surprise.
Our dreams are less than shit. That's it, you want to prove that they are not heroes to Marty? Oh, Good job, okay. Rick. This again. What the hell is Israel? It's just something Rick starts talking about when he's blackout drunk. What? In what, what, in what way? Like, what, what, what's my point? It Don't go into me. that I'm subject, please, Rick. Uh, okay, here's the deal. I own a rest What did you prepare right there with the, the rainbow stuff and all? I'm trying to hit some three pointers. Let's say you have to hit five three pointers in five minutes. The whole place, the whole planet will get blown up with a neutrino bomb. Try to make it a, a lesson about yourselves, like, like how selfish you are. You guys have always had an unspoken bond. Like, let's not tell my husband unspoken. We aren't married anymore, Alan. Were we married when you two were stranded on Delphi six to three days? Because oh. I sensed something was weird when you came back. You're the pile of ordinary bugs that fucked my wife. That's a three pointer. Where the fuck is the lead wire? You always put in the weirdest place because when you're an asshole, it doesn't matter how right you are. Nobody wants to give you the satisfaction. I know. Everyone True fact. Really like to be right. Uh, so call, we don't like to be dumb. Holy shit, you're jealous. Yes, is that what you want to hear? Did it feel good? You were loving these heroes, bad. considering bad. them as bad. heroes bad. and not you? What did my asshole grandpa like? wish this was about sex. We loved each other. We had a child together. You had a child. He died inside me because it was half a million ants and half the lasting star. You lost a child. Yes, he was better than you. All aboard, motherfucker! Stop! Oh, okay. I don't want you slipping away when this is over. All of these deaths are on your hands. Okay, come on, maybe a couple of them, but definitely not the train guy. <laughs> All of them. Okay. What? No, it's an insect you know what it that you. So, guess wrong and the pl planet will explode and probably the solar system because I kind of fucking eyeballed the nutrient. What did you create? I think no matter what we put on there, we die. He said it's the part of the vindicators he values. That means nothing. It could, it could be Morty. What? Hey, I don't know. I mean, look, when I get drunk, I get stupid and emotional. And there's no logic to it. It's so drunk, I felt like I was losing Morty to the vindicators and maybe. This is my way of saying, okay, you can have him, but only if you know how important he is, otherwise I'll kill you. Really specific guess. Look, yes. there's nothing in the room but us. I'm just using logic to connect some dots. Be really clear that if anyone has a better guess, like if I gave you an ambulance last night, or... <sighs> Sorry, I'm not good at garage. I'm drunk, so it looks like I'm never going to see you again. I can't really roll with the hero types. I want you to know, even if I didn't show it at the time, I really appreciated you. That's what by. you created. God damn it. Why am I crying? Ugh, you're, you're probably confused because we barely know each other, but you really stuck your neck out when you gave me props for my awesome jokes in the briefing room. Nobody else had their heads so far up their ass. The little guy. Oh, the Vindicator is so cool. The little so guy. Cool. That's their demographic. But you're different, noob noob. Motherfucker. Dude, Morty, what happened? To Shut up! I sense this means we are not dying. Not all of us. When you came to me, I was merely a sentient colony of ants. It was your beliefs, your pursuit of justice that taught me to be a man. You were always the romantic, mm? which is why you can't leave either. <gasps> I'm sorry, my love. The queen of this ants. Silence. <laughs> And you don't even remember. Yeah. I can't believe we're getting gear cream with a vindicator. So you girls in gear college or gear? Alien terror attack! I better go get into my alter ego. <gasps> so cool! Oh no! Hello. What alter ego? Got no one to hold him. <laughs> 
all of that episode, you know, all of that story about this Avengers, this situation. You know, it's a little like during the last episode, all of a story fabricated around references that we have. Still, episode 3, it was Die Hard movies, something like that right there. It was Avengers movies, something like that. That was fun. Also, so movies, you know, with all of these games and you're killing one person each time at each game, spoiler alert, so you did that a cube also maybe, all of that kind of movies, horror movies, you know how it is, if you are watching my other reaction videos to movies especially, you know that I'm a really horror fan, so you know that my scale, you know, for horror movies, it's not maybe the same scale than everyone, the Descent was a really good horror movie. The Saw movies, uh, maybe the surprise of the first one, after that it's just like... Yeah, going further and further into comedy horror movies. <laughs> just to tell that this story fabricated around that, it was cool. I love that, you know, for Rick to prove his point about the fact that none of them are real heroes, that they can do bad stuff, that they are not really united like that. All of that, I guess it, it's interesting, it's well done, yes, 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 I mean, it's well done for the writers to create all of that, the writers of this show, but also for Rick to create all of that around it. About the conclusion of this episode, about the fact that Drunk Rick did all of that to prove that Noob Noob was the best hero, the only one into that place, into that team, was the only one who can save them all. Yeah? But not drunk Rick thought that it could be about Morty. So it's really like the two sides of Rick fighting right there about the part of him who is not drunk, who loves his family, who respects them, <laughs> who thinks of them, who wants what's best for them who is getting nicer and softer with them and all and the bad side of him, the one with issues the one who is still thinking only about himself about doing bad stuff to prove his point and stuff like that it's bad it's also playing a lot with Morty, these two sides of Rick during all of the season 2, I said it, the writers, they played with Morty's moral compass by making him kill people at first because they were threatening, after that on an accident with someone who didn't do anything, after that by killing a lot of people, season 3, episode 1, by killing his own grandfather, like they are playing a lot with Morty's moral compass and they are playing a lot with their relationship Again, season 2, Morty is getting tired of Rick's bullshit, Morty is giving up a few times on Rick. Episode 1, season 3 is killing Rick because he's so tired of his bullshit. Right there, Morty is not doing something on Rick, but Morty is another time confronted to Rick's bullshit. He's getting tired of it, he has a false hope that Rick really means all of what he's doing and was truly jealous that his grandson was not considering him as a hero, that you know all of that around it and that maybe in fact he considers Morty as someone great and all to discover at the end that it was not the case not fully, not entirely, that it was a fake impression, like it has to be so rough for Morty and I'm still so worried about their relationship, about Morty getting darker and about this relationship being destroyed at some point. And you know, it scares me a little because me being afraid of that, it's a little like me being afraid that Bess and Jerry would divorce at some point. Like the writers are putting that message so many times into so many episodes, but at the end, no, it's getting better. But in fact, it's fakely getting better and they truly divorced. Maybe they're gonna go back together at some point, but they truly divorced. 
and it's a bit of the same for Rick and Morty relationship. Season 1 he was glad to go on adventure with his granddad that he loves so much. He got tired of his bullshit, he's giving up on him, he's killing him! He's continuing, you know, to, to have this relationship being cut, you know, used, destroyed little by little. At some point, they're really gonna break up. Like, <laughs> I'm really afraid for this relationship to end badly. After that, they might go back together, but uh, the moment for this relationship to be destroyed, that's gonna be really rough. But that's gonna happen, like, it's almost like... I have to prepare myself for that. At least it's not going to be a surprise because clearly I'm saying it in so long now and it's so obvious also. We didn't have the other characters during this episode. Beth and Summer, at least we can see their faces at the end. Jerry is not there at all during this episode. Again, I'm saying it. If it's to use him, to mock him, to make him weak to disrespect him, I'm okay with that, you know, to not see him. Again, these characters right there, Rick, Morty, Beth and Summer, they need to get better themselves to have Jerry back and not to not treat him like they did before. Mm, I truly think so. <laughs> and for me to be okay to not have episodes with Jerry into it, to now, yes, maybe I'm gonna count them. Maybe. It means a lot. That was a funny episode. Still. For the characters, not so much. But that was a funny episode. Like, truly, I think that the two first episodes of this season 3... Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, yeah. I didn't expect them to be like that, into that mood and with characters like that. That... Uh, they killed me a little. <laughs> so I'm glad that the two last ones were better for the mood, that was funnier, for the stories and all, but also for the characters, they are not getting better. But they can see better things. We are evolving a little for them. On the right direction in a way, because at least they can see the truth, the good truth like the bad one. And the good truth is the fact that they love each other, they are members of this family together, all of that. There is something right there. I'm an optimist person, okay? I'm gonna stop this review right now and that session of binge watching. Four episodes on a day, that was cool. I did not end with my yellow light, that's really cool, but clearly in 10 minutes, no more lights. Like, <laughs> it's almost like, uh, oof. Until the end, uh, I did my stuff and that's great. Really, four episodes on a day, that's cool. I will see you for Rick and Morty's episode on another day, you know, on another session of binge watching. So it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.